life. Welcome back to the family. How is it going by your side? Woo! Today is a wonderful day. And we should be rejoicing, we should be happy, we should be positive. Hope you are not giving too much energy to the fear of the injections that they want to try to give people outside here. Hope you are not contemplating, hope you are not wasting your energy. Because that is what they want us to be. They want us to be so distracted like that, that we can't even think of, of the right things that we want. Of the right things that our world needs to shape into. They want us to be thinking about who is taking the uh, injection, who is not taking the injection. So today we are going to be talking about that switch that the society have purposely switch off within the people. When a people have been misprogrammed for a very long time, when living backward have become a particular way of life, it is so hard to get out of it. Because this is just like the erasing of people's memory. Most people now, they don't really know who they are. People are just wondering and wondering about and just following the the show just following the whole thing that they are hearing on the mainstream just following what the president tell them what their government tell them and people themselves they are really lost they don't really know what this life really is where are we going towards where was i before before i came into this existence am i this really person is my name that was given to me is it really my identity? Does it define who I am? So, there's a switch that the society, that the system, your government, are switching off in you. Government is not a one gigantic alien, one place. We are the one, the people that were coming into position because at last they have, they have started and they have been doing this thing that we are the one really enslaving ourselves. We are the one suffering ourselves. That is called repression. When you are hurting yourself, when you are doing harm to yourself, when you are misprogramming yourself, that is what is called repression. And that is what they are busy to be winning. So there's a switch that needs to be on. And so there's a switch that needs to be turned on in you, which is you actually seeking for your true self, seeking for your true identity. You meditating in the dark. When you have begin to start meditating in the dark, that is when you start seeing things. That is when your past life events, your past things that you have forgotten, ideas will be coming to your mind that now you will not be tapping into the universal database. Now you will not be thinking straight and seeing the world in a very broad way you know be seeing it like people that just want to just see what they tell them in one place in one gathering that this is how life is there's nothing more and for you to know that there's a switch turn off in us we have to keep searching keep making your request keep asking questions don't feel too big just because you finished secondary school, just because you went to school, just because you collected that certificate, it doesn't mean that I've known everything in life. That is just the, that is just a pass for you that, okay, you are succeeded in this kind of programming. So now go and face outside, go and face real life. The real life is the real school. The real life is where we educate ourselves. That is where we make mistakes. That is where we learn. That is where we see some things before we now go and do more self-knowledge on our own. There's a switch that, be, that have been switched off in, in you. That is why you are, you are looking. That's why you are searching for things. That's why you are, you are having that thought that am I really living life right? Is this how life is supposed to be? Am I just to just am I just giving battle to just go to school, get, get a work, give birth, and die off? No. There's more to life about there's more to life. You have to know the truth of who you are. When you go within yourself, when you have started meditating the more, now you will not be getting why you are here, your purpose. Why you are why are you here? Are you here to just play? Are you here to just play basketball and die off? 
Are you here to impact your people? Are you here to produce a particular good for everybody? Are you here to complete your mission, your past life? Are you here to be that good carer of a mother, of a father? Because you neglected your children in your past life. Are you here to share your commitment and your gift with the world and to your community at large? So there's a switch that, that has been turned off in us and and that is the switch that need to be honed by we actually caring more by we actually caring caring doesn't mean that you just giving people something for free then you care when you are caring you are giving you are sharing what you know that we help humanity you are sharing from your heart you're not just giving because uh, you heard that uh, go and give people that money go and give uh, those lame people on the street 10 10 uh, your 10 pounds or 10 euro or 10 naira. go and give them so then that, that means you are caring no when you are caring as you give them i give those people that thing you see ask them question you see step them in a particular way in case if you are the business type if you have enough you, have, you show them the road. You show them that, okay, take this. Then you give them some uh, instruction for where to go and search for things, for them to get up from their situation, for them to rise up. So there's a switch that, there's a switch that has been turned off in you. And you coming to realize the truth of who you are. Now you start breaking some boundages. Now you now stop, now you now stop the hand that has been holding that switch in your mind. Because the war that we have to first win is the war in our mind. That is where the battleground is. The real battleground is here, up here. That is why they can catch billions of people worshipping different gods. People will call themselves, there are many, many gods. Many, many gods. People are choosing who, who, who is their bad gods and they worship that god. And nobody has actually seen the god. And many events are happening in the world. We haven't seen any of these gods. Me too, I'm part of these people that I believe that there is a God, that there's there's one God that I'm serving. I need to kneel down. And that is what my mother do most. So in the last four years, I gained my waking and my true eyes now start seeing them all, which is my third eyes. My third eye starts seeing true things. When you can see true things now, you have started switching on the light, the switch that have been turn off in your mind that have been erased off your mind now you are taking it back and switching it on back and when you are switch, when you can easily when you can switch that switch on back now you are working for good now you'll not be seeing life for what it really is you'll not be in that film world or all those uh, imaginative world that that they have put in our mind that this is it there's nothing more than this you can't bend this thing you can't do what you think you came here to do you can't do what is your real mind and what is your mind it must be that thing that you know because what you are truly called for is not to hurt others it's not to key animals and think that you are doing a your purpose when you have switched that switch on back in yourself now you'll not be accepting yourself. No matter how the society have tried to paint everything about you evil. Now you'll not be seeing you'll not be seeing their that eddy hand that have been switching, that have put their hand in you to switch off your, your memory, to switch off who you are, to switch off your self-love, to switch off your self-compassion, to switch off your care between you and your loved ones. They have switched off the care in you. So when you have switched on that light back, what can help you and what can help everybody in this whole head that we are is for we to start going deep and seeing what have been done to you already. Because people, most people always run away. Whenever they see truth, they will run. I remember the other day I shared a particular verse of Bible to one to one of my friends. We are really close friends. We are talking, talking, talking. Imagine I just send her a Bible verse that contradicts what she has been hearing since these years. 
this guy actually blocked me and i was like wow but there are other people out there that they will receive it and those people they must have been having some questions so that guy that lady actually blocked me i was wondering wow is this how truth really hurt people but i'm here to tell you that the switch that have been turned off in you can be turned on back when you accept the truth when you don't run away from your salvation when you don't run away from the light when you can see the light and you recognize that this is it because all of us were all made that way that whenever we see the truth whenever we see truth there's something that shaking us and that is the switch the switch that have been placed in our mind to switch off our mind that, have, that, that they have used to erase our mind to want us to make us to become what we are not really to make us become docile to make us become like stupid in in our mind when you see a truth there's something that will shake you something we <clears throat> to, to make you want to struggle to make you to want to fight back and that is the switch that they have put on you because on that thing on that the true light of the world have touched you have shaken your your true essence of who you are inside so some people will run away some people will want to fight some people will we actually stay and really see that wow i'm i'm glad i'm glad that, that, that i saw this person i'm glad that this person shared this message with me so this is switch that i'll be switched off in you that now you have to start seeing and start looking where have the switch be switched off in your life is it mentally is it socially is it com com communitically that is my own language communitically that is your community are they painting everything about you evil are they painting ev everything about you second grade are they painting every everything about you useless that is the switch they have switched off the light of those people in those community in those area where you meet yourself and those people the switch that have been switched off that you you need to start switching on back from this moment okay family hope you enjoyed this short message stick around if you love what you what you heard i will continue with this next time in the next videos to come I'll speak more, 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 more. There's more to come. Stick around again, family. Like, comment. What do you think about it? Is any switch, switch off in your in your mind, in your world? They have been wondering, and you have been trying to look for the way to switch on it back. Start using your meditation, and start seeking more knowledge. The more you read, the more you can start switching on some some switch that have been uh, turned off for a very long time from generation to generation now you are the one to make a way out you are the one to cut that cycle cut it stop that cycle respect the good life